Fringe Advance Media, I'm Connor Hughes, this is Daryl Slater, and we are checking in from Mobile, Alabama, the site of the 2017 Senior Bowl, the Jets with Mike McCagden, Todd Bowles, and co are in attendance. So we are here as well, Daryl. Uh, obviously, not really the best season for the Jets. This is kind of their first chance to, I guess, get things back on the, on the winning end of things, start scouting some college players, start building this team for the future. Any player you think this team should should keep an eye on on this week? Well, obviously they have a lot of needs, so there's going to be a lot of players they'll be uh, focusing on here at the Senior Bowl. You know, some players obviously here are better better than others. One guy who's intriguing is O.J. Howard, the tight end from Alabama, uh, had a very productive college career, uh, proven player, proven conference uh, major conference that he played in, obviously in a pro type setup at Alabama and thrive there. So he's the number one rated tight end, according to CBSSports.com right now. So he's a guy that's projected late first round. Yeah. Could he be available maybe for the Jets early second round? Uh, they got Austin Safarian Jenkins coming back, but uh, as we all know, they have not gotten a lot of production out of their tight end position. So he, he's one of the yeah. many guys I'm sure they'll be keeping an eye on this week. Another one sticking with Alabama as well is outside linebacker Ryan Anderson. Obviously, everybody knows about Tim Williams. He's the guy that's kind of stealing headlines at this point. But Anderson, his pass rushing counterpart, again, very very successful college career maybe doesn't have the big name like Williams does but he's probably he could be so you ask some people and they'll tell you he's just as good if not better so he's somebody about borderline first round pick second round early second round pick could be there for the Jets when they pick there early in the second round he's another guy the Jets are gonna keep an eye on because look let's be honest they're still searching for that outside pass rusher they've got Jordan Jenkins but he's kind of a run star for they've got Lorenzo Malden but he's been a little so 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 far in his career so maybe they they try to go with another pass rusher there early in the second round yeah and they'll be i mean those are just two guys obviously they're yeah, going to be looking a lot, at a lot more guys desmond king the cornerback yes. from iowa maybe he's going to be a mid first round pick mm -hmm. projected so maybe not an option for the jets of six but we'll be back with you and give you a ton more yes. observations but those are that's just kind of a thumbnail sketch right of where they're at yeah pretty much this is day one of four we're going to be here all week so we will see you I guess tomorrow when practices continue with a little bit of a recap. He's Daryl, I'm Connor, and we will see you in uh, another day.